Oh, you decide to come and see the Baba Yaga for a story. <laughs> I give you a story you won't soon forget. The story tonight is tortured. When we come to America, we move to a small neighborhood with many Europeans in it. We had neighbors from Bulgaria, older gentlemen and his wife who was in the wheelchair. They were known in the town for saving small puppy dogs if they were starving doggies on the street or hurt or hungry. You bring them to this family and they would take care of them. They were known to do this for many, many, many years. Very good-hearted people, but sometimes in desperation, during difficult times of finances, even the kindest and most sweet of people can show a different side of themselves. These people had many, many dogs, 20, maybe 30, it's like a large kennel, but a private house. These people would take care of the animals so beautifully. But something happened to the old man. He had had a stroke. And when this happened, the medical bills affected the family terribly. As time went on, it was obvious that the house was not being kept the way it used to. You could see a sadness in the people that would come out of there. The lady in the wheelchair would sit on the porch and you would wave, and she would not wave back. Many of the neighbors started to complain about the stench coming from the property and the dog sounding as if they were being beaten. This was not right or normal for this family. Finally, the police were called, and when they arrived, what they found was horrendous. The old grandfather, after his stroke, became very strange, a little bala bala in the head. When the police arrived, they opened the door to find feces everywhere, excrement and pee-pee all over the house. The lady in the wheelchair was dirty. The grandfather was dirty. When they went to the garage, what they saw was unforgivable. They were skinning the dogs and eating them. They were torturing the doggies. They were torturing the kitty cats. It was despicable. They were skinning the animals alive or putting them alive in boiling water. Next time you see the good-hearted people that are helping the animals. You remember what might be happening behind closed doors. I pray it never happens again.